iPhone 10. It's on a lot of people's Christmas list this year, but tonight a Valley couple says they were tricked when they turned to offer up for a deal they say they couldn't pass up. ABC 15's Cameron Polam explains how a cloned iPhone turned into an $800 mistake in a story all new at 6. $880 is close enough to the uh, to the thousand dollar price tag for one of these phones so it didn't really set off any alarms in my head. Jesse Arnold says he found the small savings on the iPhone X through the website OfferUp. The seller had a seller history on OfferUp. Over 27 things they've sold and all positive reviews. So what could go wrong? Arnold says he and his wife met with the seller to get a closer look at the iPhone before purchasing it. When Arnold met up with the seller, this box was still sealed in cellophane. It wasn't only the appearance that had him fooled, but the numbers on the back that also had Apple at a loss. On the back of the box, there's a serial number right there. We had that serial number verified with Apple. It's a legitimate serial number. And then the IMEI code also matches it. And we were told that that's the number that they enter in their system so that they can activate your service. They happily handed over the cash, but when they tried to activate the phone at Cricket, they couldn't. They soon found out while visually the phone was a perfect replica, the processor inside the phone was a fraud. There was a wireless update. And when I press this, this is an Android software feature. Arnold reported it to Apple, but there was nothing the company could do. The seller immediately cutting off contact with the couple. We went to the OfferUp website and found dozens of iPhone X's boxed and ready to sell. But tonight, Arnold has a message for anyone who will listen. People need to be careful if they're looking out for a good deal and they're not buying it directly from a retailer. <laughs> I'd be really cautious about trusting anyone, whether or not it's a legitimate phone. I'm Cameron Polum, ABC 15, Arizona. Yeah, oh, man, I mean, they were so thoughtful in making sure this wasn't a scam. And then for it to turn out, I mean, I'm just glad he's sharing his story with us. Yeah, it looks awfully convincing out there, but you've got to be careful. Yeah. Offer up, by the way, has now banned that seller from their website. And Arnold says he also contacted police who told him he would have to settle the dispute in small claims court.